Hi everybody and welcome back. Now in this quick lecture we're going to discuss how to override methods from the parent class. So we're not really going to code anything this lecture, we're just going to write out a couple of small samples of code. So we can override any method from our parent class that doesn't fit in with what we're trying to model with the child class. To do this we define a method in the child class with the same name as the method we want to override from the parent class. This way Python will disregard the parent class method and only pay attention to the method we define in the child class. So let's say our class eReader has the following method. So let's just say def and um, describe backlight. Okay, and that would have something like self as the others do, colon, and then our comments would be describes the backlight. of our e-reader. There we go, print the backlight of this of this e-reader allows you to read in the dark. Okay. So we know what that does there. That's a, this is an imaginary method in our e-reader class. So this method at the moment is meaningless and it is also meaningless for a Kindle Fire e-reader because that has a colour screen, it doesn't need a backlight. So how do we overwrite that? that? Well let's imagine as I said this is in our e-reader class and now let's imagine that the next method that we're going to write is in our Kindle Fire class and we would do this def describe backlight comments the Kindle fire does not have a backlight okay close our comments as always then print the color screen lets you read in the dark okay so what does all this mean when you use inheritance you can make your child classes retain what you need and override anything you don't need from the parent class. So as we just said at the start of this lecture, if this method here was in our e-reader class, describing the backlight of a normal e-reader, we would not need this method in our Kindle Fire class. And we can overwrite that by using the same method name. And this way Python will disregard the parent class method and only pay attention to the method we defined in the child class. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next lecture.